What should we do? Why don't we split it in half? Then you'll just take the bigger half! Then... There's only one method. Hmm. Hmm. Get it, I get it. Go on now, we've got the Angry Directional Park Company. Yeah, yeah, why'd you buy packs 25 anyway? Um, they were on the sale, value, man. <sighs> I really wanted that cookie. Anyway, to get started, I'd like to introduce a new movement part to you guys, the Omnidirectional Sphere. Aside from skillfully sliding around on the sled or making a robot literally sideways, Robocraft currently does not have any controlled strafing in the game right now. When the A and D keys are pressed, the robot turns either to the left or to the right upon the axis of where the front gun is, or was on the robot. The Omnidirectional Sphere, however, would have the ability to stray from side to side. The sphere would be faster than the tread, but due to the small contact point with the ground, it would not have a lot of climbing power. The part would also be a bit heavier than wheels, but light enough so that it would be added to any flying or hovering vehicles. The size of the omnidirectional sphere would also be midway between a wheel and a track, and it would be affected by thrusters to add some extra speed to the robot. Now, omnidirectional spheres would initially control like any other part. Pressing the A and D keys would rotate your robot like normal. The special part comes into play when you hold shift or the down key. As long as the omnidirectional spheres are touching the ground and the shift key is currently being held, the robot will automatically attempt to rotate to where you're aiming. Plus, the A and D keys would no longer rotate your robot, but strafe from side to side. During combat, strafe mode would make it a lot easier to move around while keeping all of your guns facing your target, getting maximum damage out on your enemy, or just just healing an ally. While deployed, a UI alert on the side would inform the player of the status of strafe mode. Flashing yellow means that it is attempting to deploy, and blue would show that the part is there and currently not deployed. Red means the part was destroyed and is unable to be deployed, and green tells the player that the part is currently deployed in strafe mode. One other thing I thought, just for the heck of it, when you press the space key or the up button, the sphere would go up a little bit in height, allowing for the player to peek over something if need be. It only takes one omnidirectional sphere to give it the benefit of strafing and rotation, but it would certainly control better if there was more than one omnidirectional sphere or other parts that were helping it along. Speaking of other parts, this new control method is all fine and dandy while it's just the omnidirectional wheels on the robot, but if you slapped the other movement parts on as they were, the robot would not stray properly. The two movement types would conflict with one another, making for unpredictable movement, because while the omnidirectional wheels would be attempting to strafe, the other parts would be attempting to turn, and the robot while trying to face the camera is facing, and well, it would be a mess, just like your cookie crumb covered face. What cookie? I saw them. Save a few for me. Fine, fine. Anyway, movement types. Conflicting. Bad. Problem. To solve this issue, when strafe mode is active and touching the ground, the other movement parts would play along in strafe as well. Mech legs, walker legs, hover blades, and copter blades would, instead of rotating a robot from left to right, would rather work with the part and strafe it from side to side. Even thrusters would play along, allowing for faster strafing instead of faster turning. Unfortunately, wheels and treads would be the only parts physically unable to strafe from side to side, and would probably just strafe from side to side all glitch tacularly as they grip on the two parts would attempt to stop the robot from strafing. But ideally, the robot would simply strafe stupendously slow from side to side. Of course, when you're done strafing, you simply stop pressing the shift or down key and go back to driving normally. To address a particular issue, I didn't think that switching control methods when you touch the ground automatically would work out very well. I wanted to give the player the option to still move around normally with the other parts. More importantly, if you were a hovercraft or a flying unit, it would be pretty jarring and annoying if the movement control suddenly changed unexpectedly, making your robot do something you didn't want it to do. Or another idea would just forego the automatic face the camera rotation and make the two other keys like Q and E control the robot stray from the left and the right. Uh, the only reason why to avoid the Q&E button solution is that they are surprisingly awkward, for me anyway, to press Q or E while attempting to either press W or S with the middle finger at the same time. If you're at a computer, go ahead, try it yourself. I'll wait five seconds.
You see? So, what do you think of adding omnidirectional wheels into Robocraft? They would certainly not have the grip of a tread or the lightness of wheels, but it would allow for a very unique and flexible ground-based movement to get the most out of your robot's damage. And I also frankly think it would feel really cool to stray from side to side while having your robot automatically rotate wherever you're aiming. Anyway guys, if you have any ideas in any game, it just might turn into the next episode. Thanks so much much for watching and see you next time.